TV, welcome. And why won't you tell me a little bit more about your book? Thanks for having me. Uh, the book is entitled Reflections on Transcendence. And the goal of the book is to be uh, featured on your coffee, coffee table or at your bedside stand where you can just open it up to any random page and receive short little uh, snippets of inspiration that will get you out of your head and into a more reflective uh, space. Um, and this, is, this work was accomplished with also with the paintings of Steve Lyons uh, to also get people in a more visual space and not in an intellectual space. And I think a lot of the problems that we have dealing with all the crises in our lives is we stay in our head and don't get inspiration from within. And so this book is designed to get people more into a reflective state. And one of the sentences that you included in the book is so beautiful about not being, not letting negativity draw you in, which would be so easy to do, especially in times like that. And I'm also inspired that you included the art of my favorite artist from Cape Cod and Chatham, Steve Lyons, who his art is, uh, it's, so, it's so rich, the uh, material of his art. How did you decide on which images to choose from his beautiful and large gallery? Well, that, that was a daunting task. So I recruited his assistant and gave her the uh, manuscript and she read the manuscript and chose paintings specifically based on how she was inspired by the text to match that particular chapter or page. Uh, so, and then Steve went over everything at the, uh, in the final analysis and changed a few paintings for what he felt they should be. Sure. Um, and uh, basically that's, that's how I collaborated with them artistically because I, you know, I appreciate art, but I'm certainly not an artist myself. Um, yeah, and, and you know, I have this uh, relation with Steve's painting when uh, I see something, I, I try to build a story. So this sounds like very much related and similar to what you did with a book. But when we go to, when we look at any piece of art, any, when we go to museum, gallery, or right now we look at Zoom, various venues, we do create, we think about what's going on in a picture, but also it gives us this solitude and peace and these reflective quotes can help so much with creating the space that we need so much right now. Yes, that's, that was my intention. And um, I, I, I hope that that's how it lands when people read the book. That's wonderful. So there's so much to think about in this time, Thanksgiving and holidays are coming. And I know that you're thinking about, or you gifted this a few books to some people from your, um, from your surroundings. Could you tell me more about it? Well, I have some uh, copies in my various clinics that I work in. Uh, and I've noticed that the staff will pause, take the, it's, it's uh, in a specific place where people just go back and get it. Uh, and they'll, they'll look at it and they seem to calm down a little bit and put it back up. And then they'll share it with staff that haven't been working recently and know that that book is out. I've been, I've, you know, I, I'm in a workplace, so I'm not really advertising my book per se, sure. but it's been um, helpful. And so it's been a test case for me to see how this book lands. Uh, I've also gifted some copies to my daughter's school. So I think, uh, Teens in particular, uh, and, and young, young people in general, are really um, overwhelmed by things, uh, just being a teenager, but with a lot of chaos going on with the pandemic and all other things, I think it's very helpful for them to have little short bits of inspiration that get them out of their head. You're right, especially now when we all have such a short attention um, uh, uh, span. And you know, I'm also thinking, you mentioned young people, there's such an increase of teenage depression and anxieties. And I can think that, you know, opening book, your books and Steve's book and looking at a painting, looking at a phrase and possibly inspiring young people, not only to think about these phrases, but also create their own, own art, to read or write their own or paint their own story based on what is already listed in a book. Do you think that it could be also was one of your ideas of publishing this book or writing this book? Yes, and my, my uh, feeling is we already have within us the answers we need from our inner compass, if you will. But we are so distracted in our head that we don't listen. 
And so my point of this is to get us in a space where we listen to what we need to know for our own specific circumstances, because those answers aren't outside of us. They're inside of us. And so my goal with this is to turn us in. Um, and uh, basically that's where all the answers lie that we seek. I think where we get in trouble is when we seek answers from others yeah. They might be well-meaning, but, and it might work for their life, but not for ours. That's true. That's so true. Elizabeth, thank you so much for sitting down with me for a few minutes and talking about your new book. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hope to talk to you soon. But in the meantime, I, I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving and holidays and also stay well. Thank you. You too. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, Libby.